Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many developers encounter when using CX Freeze to create executable files. Our viewer is facing a frustrating problem. They can run their .exe file perfectly on their own computer, but when they try to run it on other machines, they receive an error message about the Qt platform plugin. Let's dive into the details and see if we can shed some light on this mystery. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error message you're encountering indicates that the Qt Platform plugin Windows is missing on the target computers. This often happens when the necessary Qt libraries are not included with your executable. First, ensure that you have included all the required Qt DLL files in the same directory as your .exe. These files are essential for the application to run properly on other systems. Next, check if your application is using any additional plugins. You may need to include the Platforms folder, which contains the Quindos.dll file. This file is crucial for the Qt application to recognize the Windows platform. Finally, ensure that the target computers have the same architecture as your development machine. If you built a 64-bit application, it won't run on a 32-bit system without the appropriate libraries. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue and run your application on other computers without encountering the Qt platform plugin error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. A user encountered the Qt Platform plugin error while working on a GUI application. They found a solution that might help others facing the same issue. They were using Windows 10 with Miniconda and Python 3.9.4. The issue arose when transferring their environment to a machine without internet access. To resolve the error, they located the qt.conf file in their conda environment and updated the paths, correcting any leftover names from the old machine. This simple adjustment fixed the issue, and they hope this solution helps others in the future. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.